give credit where credit is due. Give it. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles for make it to, making it to the NFC Championship game. Now, baby doll, you might say, Pizzle, you got no business even making a video. You got no business even talking football. Your team finished 3-13. and They're number two overall uh, in the draft. Keep your ass on the couch. Keep your damn mouth shut. You might could say that. I'm not here to do anything other than just remind some people of history. That's all I'm here to do. And maybe what's to come. Here's the deal. As a true fan, now if you're just a fan who just moves from team to team, player to player, you can't experience this real shit. This is real shit talking to you. But one day, listen up baby doll, one day... As a true fan, you're going to be laying on your deathbed. And you're going to be talking to somebody. And, and, and you know what they're going to do, baby doll? They're going to try to make things, keep it off, the, off your mind that you're about to fucking die. So what are they going to do? They're going to talk sports. They're going to say, oh, yeah, how about them Giants, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you remember that time they played the Minnesota Vikings at home? In the NFC Championship game. Do you remember that pistol lying on your deathbed? I'm going to say, damn right I remember it. They won 41 to nothing. Beat their ass. They're going to say, hey, Pizzle, you send that dying, Pizzle. You died, baby. You remember that time when the Giants beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Not one time, but two times. Beat the greatest quarterback of all time. Did it twice. Greatest coach of all time. Did it twice. You remember that, Pizzle? Don't die on me. Finish the story, Pizzle. Bottom line is, baby, don't they need me to make videos because I'm the best in the damn business. Anyways. Reason I bring all that up, baby doll, mm -hmm. is because that's New York Giants history. I understand that's not going on right now. I understand those, those many years separate all that. But, the, but here's the thing. That's what you experience as a fan. Those are the games that you love and you remember the rest of your damn life. That's what it means to be a Giants fan. That's what it's all about. Kicking the Minnesota Vikings ass at home in the NFC Championship game. I bring all this up, baby doll, mm -hmm. because you want to know who plays at home this weekend in the NFC Championship game against the Minnesota Vikings? Dude. So, I want to know, and there's another, there's another plot to this twi twist to this plot, baby doll. Okay, I'm going to spin it in a minute. But, I want to know when Eagle fans are laying on their deathbed, you listening, Rock? When you're laying on your deathbed, we might be side by side in the same damn hospital. Pistols on one end, you're on the other end. And I'm going to say, hey, Rod, you remember when we beat the, uh, the Vikings in the NFC Championship game? And I'm going to say, you remember the time when you couldn't do it? I would argue that that Minnesota Vikings team is better than the one you got to face. But... Baby doll, let's see if the Philadelphia Eagles can add a little Giants to their story. We've been there, done that. I said this many, many months ago, baby doll. They're all playing catch-up ball. We've been done this. We've been done it. Here's the twist. You ready for this, baby doll? Yeah, I'm ready. There's a report... Out today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a report out today that the, the that Pat Shermer, who just so happens to be the offensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings, mm -hmm. is likely to get the New York football giants head coaching position. Which also would mean, baby doll, just a little fill in that Spags would probably remain at D.C. But that doesn't matter right now. 
The reason I bring that up, baby doll, is that if he is our new horse, if it is true that Pat Shermer is the man, what better way to give a gift to your new team, the New York Football Giants, the one who has all the damn history? What better way to give them a gift than to help put a game plan together, an offensive genius game plan that would eliminate this Philadelphia Eagles team? Because I'm going to tell you right now, baby, they better do it now while they got the chance. You don't do it now, you never do it. There are people that have lived their whole life, baby, now, their whole damn life as an Eagles fan, never even seen a Super Bowl champion, champion winner. They ain't never seen it. They don't know what it feels like. They're dying left and right, not even knowing. I've been alive for every, listen, baby, you know, every Giants Super Bowl. I've been alive for all of them. All of them. So, the question is, can the Philadelphia Eagles beat a Minnesota Vikings team, done, done all that, and then can they go and beat the New England Patriots? More than likely it's going to be New England, baby doll. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you to lay the points. I'm just saying. More than likely going to be them. Can they go beat two teams that the Giants have already dusted in their history? in these games. <laughs> I mean, the NFC awaits, Philly, Philly Eagle fans. We await. We all got rings. You ain't got shit. No 